While the 5 GHz wireless standard is in the mainstream for quite a while now, with the latest edition of Wi-Fi 6E, users will now get to experience the 6 GHz wireless spectrum. This simply means faster network speed, much lower latency, and stable internet performance than the previous generation of Wi-Fi. Though upgrading to Wi-Fi 6E can be quite a bit of a hassle for now as you will be needing a compatible router as well as devices for experiencing the new airwaves. For now, let's just take a bird's eye view to see what the latest version of Wi-Fi has to offer. Upon the Federal Communications Commission's unanimous announcement of opening up the 6 GHz band for unlicensed use, more airwaves are now available for routers to broadcast signals, and that surely brought along plenty of outstanding network perks for users to enjoy. Naturally, a more contagious spectrum means improved network performance at up to gigabit level speeds. Also, as the channels are far wider, latencies can be brought down by significant proportion. And lastly, less network interference is enabling Wi-Fi usage to a high capacity of users. Now, this sure is leading towards a handful of benefits that we have been craving for quite a while now. First of all, you, your family members, and your neighbors will not have to compete for limited bandwidth on the same channel. Everyone can have their fair share of bandwidth due to wider channels now being available in the Wi-Fi 6E transmission. The leap from 5 GHz to 6 GHz, although might not sound like a big deal, but it sure is. This simple leap is unlocking the possibility of experiencing quadruple amount airwaves that brings along 14 additional 8 MHz channels and 7 additional 160 MHz channels for compatible devices and routers. The result? Significantly low network interference. The impact of this in your everyday life will be such that you won't have any problems staying connected to your Zoom meetings or experiencing any kind of buffer in your favorite Netflix shows. Now there are some minor setbacks as it has always been with every new technology. Although Wi-Fi 6E's short wavelength is ideal for fast data transfer, it doesn't do much good in long distance traveling. Therefore, the network speed will suffer a great deal of interference from physical barriers such as floors or walls. There is also the factor of network interference as there are still some licensed 6 GHz network users. Interference won't be a problem in your home or office, but outdoors, such as in your backyard, Wi-Fi will revert back to 5 GHz or 2.4 GHz channel. Regardless of these drawbacks, Wi-Fi 6E is indeed a must-have technology in the future. Tech giants have already begun manufacturing compatible products as countries like the US, Korea, and Brazil have opened up their 6 GHz gateway. But the network is limited to these countries only as other countries are yet to open up theirs. If you belong to countries outside of one of the ones we have mentioned, you have to wait. Though the Wi-Fi 6E devices are backward compatible, which means they can still be used with previous versions of Wi-Fi. So getting a Wi-Fi 6E enabled device and becoming an early adopter can also be a good decision. With that being said, if you are confused about whether to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6E right now, our short answer for you is, now is not the best time. And if you are thinking about getting a new router to future-proof your home network without caring much about the price tag, then we suggest getting a Wi-Fi 6E enabled model. And that's pretty much it for our review of the Wi-Fi 6E. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos like this on your feed.